Let us see, we have a text. We have a text from a Muslim, let us call him. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right, we have a Muslim trying, maybe he want to join us. Let us see and call him. Well, I called him before. He says, call declined. And uh, so we will see. If he is not playing games, we will take him. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Um, yes. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes. Shia. You are a Shia. Shia. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, as long as you are a Shia, you know, I, I'm glad to have you, my friend, because usually we have Muslim Sunni. What Shia? I mean. Um, I think it's uh, the the ones that uh, support Ali. It's what the ones support Ali. Yeah. Anyways, uh, before we start, um. I do speak and read Arabic, so you can text me in that. That's wonderful. You know, if you understand me, as, uh, as long as long you are a or something. yeah, as long you are a Shia, uh, there is a verse in the Quran that says, uh, "You know what the word Siraj mean." You said you speak Arabic, right? Yeah, but uh, this word is a little bit hard for me. Could you explain? You just said you speak Arabic. Yeah, I'm not sure. But because sometimes it's weak, my Arabic speak. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you speak Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic. I got it. So in the Quran, no, no, I do, I do. I can read. I can read. Oh, you can. Oh, okay, that's good. So in the Quran, uh, it says, chapter thirty-three, verse number forty-six, that wada in munira. Is the Quran claiming that Muhammad? It's a lantern. Is a light. Um, it's speaking about the prophet here, right? Yeah, he's, yeah, so according to you, and the reason I, I quoted this verse, because as I know, that you as a Shia, you believe that Muhammad and his family are made of light. Is that correct? Yeah, they say, uh, when Ali, he married uh, Fatima, they say, uh, Al-Nurayn, correct. So the Muslims, Shia, they believe that Ali and Fatima and Muhammad and Hassan and Hussein they are made of light and they used to be in the forehead of Allah, correct? Uh, yeah, well, made of light. Okay, so, but but That's Adam true. Adam uh, is made of uh, of dust, right? Yes. So how how Ali and Muhammad and they are children of Adam, but yet they are not like the children of Adam because as long we are made of or from the seeds of Adam. Well, we have to be dust and dirt. You know, we are made of dirt. Yes, this is. Uh, Can you speak louder, it, please? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, sorry, I was breathing. In. So, how we are children of Adam, and they are are they children of Adam too or not? Um. Well, yes, according to, to the Sunni, but I'm not sure about what the Shiites say. No, you are a Shia, my friend. You, you, what yeah, about well, you? I, open, open your interpretation and read for me. What do you think? Uh, yeah, welcome. Do you have Do you have a sheikh? You know, he can join us. You can call him. Um, no. The sheikh in your mosque. Who is the sheikh in your mosque? You can well, call him. You can call him. Maybe he can help you better. You can, if you want to open an interpretation, you can open a Lukumi. Yeah, but you see, now you say but to I'm... me, you agreed. You know, so we do not need to go much. You know, you agreed that Muhammad and Ali and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein, the whole family, they are made of light, mm -hmm. and that's what the verse is saying according to the Shia, and they used to be in the forehead of Allah. So now, as long they are made of light. That's mean they are not from the children of Adam. Because Adam and his children are made from mud, mud. from a clay, yes. correct? So what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, that is weird. That's weird. Well, Islam is weird anyway. Don't you agree with me? 
definitely. Okay, that's good. You agree with me. Uh, so as long you agree with me that Islam is weird, and you as a Muslim, you feel that you are in this ability to explain this weird religion. So why you call yourself a Muslim? Then why you don't leave Islam? Well, you know, CP, um, I can't make decisions like that without a lot of proof because I, I know I appreciate your videos. You've uh, helped a lot, but uh, most of the sources you show are Sunni sources. If you could show me a couple of Shia sources, then it would uh, help me a lot. Okay, but you agreed with me uh, about what Shia believes, so you did not even deny what I said. Why well, I want to show you source if you agreed? You said, yes, they are made of light, correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, 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 when, when, when the Shia, they say that Ahlul Bayt, Makhluqat Nuraniya, they are created from light, and then the Quran says Allah created, uh, Allah himself is light. Yeah, yes, that's, um, yeah, that, that does not uh, match. I spoke to, um, I know it's a Sunni uh, sheikh, mm. and I asked him, I was like, how does, they, do they, the Shia, they say, like, they're made of light, and Allah is light. Does that not make them equal? Mm. So and, 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 how, have you ever heard um, them say uh, Yeah. Yeah, that that's uh, um, that's very confusing because you know how they say uh, Hussein he died of thirst. Mm -hmm. If if he had Wulaikonia, couldn't he just make water for himself? Mm -hmm. But you know, there's more important than all of this. Uh, like you know, the Shia, uh, they claim by claiming that Muhammad and his family, they are made of light, and the whole world. And by the way, Shia and Sunni they agree that yeah, they do. Allah, they say Allah, is made He by created Muhammad. everything for the sake of Muhammad. So Shia yes. and Sunni agree on that. And we have a hadith which is very famous. The, the Sunni they agree upon it. It's called Lawlaka Hadith Lawlaka, which means if not you, uh, Allah created nothing. You know, it's for Muhammad. The Shia, they add yeah, more. They say, if not Muhammad, and Ali, and Fatima, and Hassan, and Hussein, Allah will not create anything. Okay. So now, uh, who is you, for you as a Shia, who is really, who is Ali? I think uh, they take him as a successor to um Muhammad, but uh, from what I understand, that some some of them even view view him as higher. Like, uh, for example, they have a uh, why I heard the Sheikh said it that mm -hmm. uh, Jibril he was sitting with Muhammad and Ali walked in and he stood up and said, "This is my teacher," and I thought that was very weird because that would that would mean Jibril is learning from Ali. Yeah. Ali, uh, like uh, Hassan al Hussein, they speak 70 million languages. So, obviously, the Shia, you know, I speak seven, 69 million languages, by the way. 70, I cannot do it, to be honest with you. But Hassan al Hussein, they can speak 70 million languages. So, you agree with me, obviously, that the Shia, they have a lot of fiction stories about people who obviously they make them equal to God. Could you show me a couple? About what? The, the stories. Uh, 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 you mean uh, funny, funny stories? Yeah, sure. Okay. Th that would help, I guess. All right. Let us see. And I will show you only from Shia. I wish I can play yeah, videos for you because Al -Kafi or videos are, you know, they, they are. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Give me a second. Let us see. Uh, CP, I also, I, uh, I'm almost finished with uh, reading the uh, New Testament, yeah. and I did read a bit of the Old. Okay. I read uh, Genesis, and I'm almost done with Exodus. That's wonderful. Uh, okay, yeah, let us I go. Have... You mentioned to me Al-Kafi, Al-Kilani, correct? Al-Kafi, yes. Al-Kafi is a Sheikh Al-Kilani. So this is a Sheikh Al-Kilani. Let us put it in the screen. 
and this is the Shia library. You know, Shia library doesn't mean that the book is a Shia, but in this case, yeah, this is no. a Shia book. All right. Uh, here, there's some stories which has found them very funny. But uh, here we have a story uh, speaking about a donkey. The donkey. Yeah. Waruya and the Amir al Mu'minin. You understand me, right? You understand uh, what I'm saying uh, in Arabic? If you want me to read and translate, you can read it. Go ahead. It's in the front of you, Miss Green. Okay. No, 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 here. here. Read, read it from here. Waruya. The bottom. Uh huh. Bilal. Ali Bil Baglatain. Uh, or, from here you see it maybe the screen is not coming to you uh -huh. <laughs> So this he's saying the donkey was with Noah. Yeah, but just to start from the beginning, the donkey here said to Muhammad uh, to Ali what? He said, uh -huh. Translate the donkey he spoke. Yeah. To the prophet. Okay, spoke to and Muhammad. Okay. And he said, Baabi anta wa ummi inna abi hadathani. So so the donkey is narrating a hadith. Yeah, saying. And he said, no, you skip, you skip. فقال, Which one? Abi and Tawaumi. What does that mean? Abi and Tawaumi. He said, My father and my mother. Yeah, but what does that mean? What he's saying, I sacrifice, I'm willing to sacrifice my father and my mother for oh, you. Yes, yes, because uh, ba is like a right. way of swearing. Uh huh. So, so he is willing to sacrifice the donkey. He's, he's, sw he's swearing on his father and his mother. No, he's willing to sacrifice the Abi and Anta wa Ummi, which means I am willing to oh, give okay. my father, my mother, for you, Muhammad. For my... Okay, so the donkey now is willing to sacrifice his f parents for the sake of Muhammad. How wonderful! And continue, okay? In Abi okay. and Abi. So my father told me from his father. Continue. And this is the donkey speaking. Yeah, the donkey. It's, it's the donkey guys. The donkey <laughs> the saying. Donkey, he, the donkey he said. <laughs> the donkey said. <laughs> That my father told me from his father, from his grandmother, from his father. Translate, go ahead. <laughs> the, don the donkey's father, he told him about the donkey's father, uh, also his other father, that uh, when he was with Noah on the ship, um, knock and uh, Noah What does Kaflih mean? Uh, I think uh, like his, his like the, the close area to his ass or in the top of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. so, so you know uh, Translate, translate so people is... uh... <laughs> Okay. So so Noah he uh he touched uh, the backside and said from his uh sulb which is the, between the backbone and the rib uh -huh. right mm -hmm. there will come a donkey that the prophet will ride hmm. how did they discover this so this is a prophecy from noah that from this donkey the the the, the, the from this donkey children's would be a donkey who would be you know will be rode by Muhammad, correct? From the back, yes, first of all, from the backbone, from the seed of this backbone donkey. Yeah, backbone. Yeah. Yes, uh, with with the the backbone story. Yeah. Um, isn't that uh, biologically incorrect? Yeah, but uh, let us focus here. You said to me, show me some reference. And this is correct, right? Yeah, but what this do you think? What, what, well, this is your uh, this is the most authentic book for the Shia. This is Al Kafi. Al -Kafi yeah, yes. okay, okay. Al Kafi, a Shaykh Al Kilani, volume number one, page number two, three, seven, in front of you. Yeah. 
this is a. Uh, I, I don't know about this. Um, CP. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Um, so why does this? Um, I've noticed with a lot of the sources, they insist that uh, sperm comes from the backbone. Because what the Quran says, the Quran says, you know, uh, the the sperm coming from the backbone anyway. And there's other verse, which is chapter eighteen, verse number eighty six, says the sperm coming from the backbone, from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So they have they have no choice except to to agree with it. Oh, I remember the verse earlier in the stream when you uh, you were talking about Paul in uh, Surah Yasin. Mm. Uh, so I was reading uh, the Shia Tafsir, yeah. uh, Tafsir al qummi and uh, actually I did find almost the exact same same thing. Uh, so uh, it says th three uh, prophets they went to Antioch, and they they slept in the jailer's house. Okay. And from the Book of Acts, which I read, I mm. I, I think there's a story about mm. the disciples being jailed, mm -hmm. and then them being freed. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, we, we know, you see, we know that uh, Islam is a religion, if we can call it religion, stealing uh, stories from others. This is not a new. All, everything you find in the Quran or in the Tafsir is a theft. Everything. From but, the... But, you know, for me, uh, uh, because you are a Shia, and as, you know, as you said, usually the one who called me is Sunni. I don't know why Shia don't call. Uh, but you... but they're the, the Shia that I know, they're uh, uh, close-minded. The Shia are close-minded. Well, they <laughs> they're open-minded, but that is not. The are the Sunni are the same. The Sunni are the same. You know, like if I go right now, uh, if I go to Iran and I say what I'm saying, I will be killed in two seconds. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So the same. It's the same. You will be killed before you arrive. Be before even I arrive, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but if I say I want to do what I, everything Actually, is good. Uh, remember, I told you I know uh, Sunni Sheikh. Yeah. So uh, you told me that the uh, Stepsir steal a lot from the Jews. Yeah, but uh, yes. So he, so he told me. I told him what is. And he said some Israeliat. And he called Israeliat let to kill them, or to sadduk. This is because they always uh, exactly. take from them, so exactly. they can't say their lies. But you see, who is the one who said don't uh, uh, accuse them of lying and don't approve what they say? Do you know? Uh, I think it's probably the Muhammad himself. Muhammad, yeah. So, لا تكذبوا ولا تصدقوا. Why Muhammad uh, like can't do that? Like, for example, uh, the stories of uh, Suleiman from the Jewish Legion. Uh, why? Why? Uh, no. Why? Why they cannot? Uh, you see, and, and this is telling us that the Muslim uh, they don't follow their prophet because if they follow it, you know, they are they are doomed. So. Don't accuse the Christians and the Jews uh, of being liars and don't agree with them, which means don't agree, say yes. But why? Because Muhammad, he cannot de debate them. Uh, he cannot prove them wrong. So he said it clearly, don't say to them you are lying and don't say to them you are truthful. So don't say anything. Why? Because he knew that him and his followers, they cannot refute or debate the Christians. So when I ask a Muslim, and this is why the Muslim they made an article saying how to debate Christian prince. This says if, 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 he, if he say to you the prophet is good, don't say yes, don't say no, because whatever you say, he will get you busted. Muhammad so, trying so to do the same. So debate you by not talking. Yeah, by saying the, or running yeah, away. Like we avoid uh, the answer, and by doing that, we we give them nothing. You know, so don't accuse them. Don't say to them you are liars, and don't say to them you are truthful. Um, also, uh, I remember I heard you once uh, speaking about uh, Shia Rawaya about uh, spanking. Yeah. Is that true? Uh, this is about the sex. Uh, yes, yeah, I, this I is think. True. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a true. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's just see if I can find it for you. Uh, give me a second. 
But I want you to think with me until I find that reference. You know, if Muhammad said to them, don't don't disbelieve and don't believe. What, what the heck is that? You know, don't yes, believe. So it's, don't disbelieve. It's, he's, he's <laughs> so he's saying ignore it or what? He's saying nothing. He's saying stupid. This is a stupid statement because shouldn't you tell them believe or not? What what does that mean to say don't believe and, and don't uh, don't believe and don't don't disbelieve? So where we are we now? You know, that doesn't make any sense. But this is this is Islam. You know, it's just a stupid uh, cult. Uh, let us find you some uh, funny stories about. Uh, the chat is saying uh, I'm trolling. No, no, don't listen to them. No, I mean, it's uh, because they're used to uh, the people coming here and them not. Uh, they're just saying you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar. Who care? Okay. You know, people they can say anything you want. Chat. Uh, let us see. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that reference is. Um, but I, I uh, let, let me show you this this one first, and then I will try to find the other one. Uh, this is the same book we we did so we we uh, like a minute ago. As you see, this is Al Kafi, right? Variant number six, page number four, six, five. It says here, it's telling you how to have sex and what is right and what's wrong. Uh, he said, Can you see my screen? On the screen. Can you see my screen? Wait. Uh... Yes, I see it. All right. Fakala Malaka will nail aswad. Go read and translate. Oh no, I, I know this one. You know this one? This, this one is, uh, I I know uh, Sunnis and I read this to them and they always laugh. Yeah. Uh, so why, you know, uh, read and translate to the people. You know, you are a uh, Shia, you will, you will, you know, you will do better than okay. me. Do I have to read the chain or can I just read? No, no, just read what it says. فَقَالَ مَالِكْ وَنَعَلَ سَوْدَاءَ أَمَا عَلِمْتُ أَنَّهَا تضر بالبصر وترخي الذكر وهي بأغلى ثمن من غيرها وما لبسها أحد إلى أختل فيها. أختلف. So he's uh, asking uh, he's asking Abi Abdullah, which is uh, Hussein. Um, he's asking him, what, what do you think about black uh, sandals? Mm -hmm. And he's saying they make you blind, they make your uh, erectile dysfunction, and they make you go crazy yeah so if you wear a black shoes your private part will not work correct well you know cp i was wondering for a whole year why wouldn't why women wouldn't talk to me and why i can't see it turns out it's because, because of my black shoes wearing black shoes but the shia they encourage yellow shoes you know if you read here it says قال دخلت على ابي عبد الله عليه السلام وفي رجلي What's wrong with you? Why are you wearing black shoes? Don't you know that it have a three, like there's three things happening with it? It will make your vision weak if you wear it, make your penis limp. Not work. Limp, yeah. And yeah. will make you unhappy. All of this because we are wearing our black shoes. <laughs> and then he says, the guy, he said to him, so what should I, should, should I, what I should wear? He said, wear yellow shoes. It have three, uh, like, uh, he saw like uh, uh, three options or three uh, yes. good things. Yeah. Min lips and so where the yellow sock, yeah. I mean the yellow sandal, yeah. So to we, make your yeah. privates better. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the advice: wear yellow sandals, because the black sandals will make your penis don't don't function, and have a three. Uh, uh, CP. Yeah. 
you know, when you read these, you wonder if like the guy they're just walking around with him and he's just making stuff up as he goes. Well, obviously those stories. I mean, this is I don't know. Is this is stupid? If Ali he said those stories or any of those, Ali, Hussein. yeah, I know Hussein or anyone who said those stories. If if they already said a story, they are stupid. If they did not, even it's more horrible. That's mean the whole religion is corrupt. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, CP, have you ever seen uh, the hadith where uh, Muhammad he went to a Jewish uh, court and he swore on the Torah? Yeah. No. No. Uh, when you have like uh, Muslims like uh, Ali Dawa or. Uh, Muhammad Hijab, hmm. and they go and say, "Oh, this book, the Torah, is corrupt. The Torah is like the the first uh, five books of the Old Testament, right?" Uh -huh. so, so, but those books they contradict the Quran. So, if Muhammad swore on them, wouldn't he be contra contradicting the Quran or affirming? Well, you know, just what we talked today about. You know, the Quran says, "Musaddiqan lima ma'ahum." What they have currently. Yeah, Lima Ma'am, what they have. And there's other verses saying what is between his hands, correct? Or between their hands. So the Quran in many places confirming clearly that confirming what is with them and what is between their hands. So when a Muslim he come and he say, that will be a contradiction against the Quran. At the same time, when a Muslim he says to me that your book is corrupt, he is saying to me that his God book is corrupt because the Quran confirmed that the one who sent uh, this book is Allah, correct? Yes. So if, because, uh, if Allah doesn't it say no one can contradict uh, the word of Allah? Yeah. If Allah in the Quran He says nobody can change the word of Allah, correct? Yeah. Nobody can change it. So if none can change the word of Allah, and isn't it that Injil and the Torah confirm in the Quran that they are the word of Allah? So this will be a clear contradiction. If, if the Muslim they say no, what the Quran meant is the Quran, uh, like the Quran, Allah is, He mean by saying nobody can change His words. And that is the Quran. That's mean the Injil and the Torah. They are not the word of Allah because what he said, none can change his words. He did not say none can change the Quran. He says none can yeah, change his words. According to that, the gospel and the Torah and the Injil are his words. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I, I, I see that you agree with me in many things. So why you stay as a Muslim? I mean, you are saying to me you need more proofs. I mean, what, what more proofs you want me to give you that Islam is false? Like, do you believe in the flying carpet? Do you believe I'm that? Uh, do, you, do you believe like uh, 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 Hassan? He speak, uh, uh, you know, seventy million languages. What, what do you believe? Do you believe in those things? Hassan, he speaks seventy do, million languages. Flying carpet. Huh? CP, these things, uh, they don't uh, make sense at all. Well, actually, there is even some references that they speak all the languages of all the creatures. Uh, but I need to find. Uh, so, so he would go to like a bee and say bzz bzz bzz. Yeah, yeah, he speak all uh, all languages. There is no language in this earth they don't speak it. Uh, well, why? Why are you know? I I have spoken to uh, many Shiites, and they do try to bend uh, the word of, for example. Uh, John the Baptist when he says uh, the one that is coming after me yeah well you know uh, the, the, Ma the Muhammadan they are desperate trying to find Muhammad they could not prove Muhammad to be a, a prophet in their book so they try to make a Muhammad is in our book but this will be even but, more funny but have you ever heard about uh, the law of lesm uh, I want you to focus with me yeah. I just found you something here you know Okay. I'm just taking advantage of having you as a Shia because usually we don't have Shia according. This is Al-Sheikh Al-Kilani, Al-Kafi, very number one, yes. page number 462. We go here, you will see uh, hold on, where it says إن الله إن لله مدينتين إحداهما بالمشرق والأخرى بالمغرب. كنتني وياي. Scroll the screen so I can see the rest. All right. And translate, please. Okay. Um.
Can you highlight the part where I read? Yeah. Inna Allah, inna lillahi madinatain. Inna lillahi madinatain. Mm -hmm. Ahaduhum bil shar, bil mashrak, wal akhir bil maghrib. Alayhim a suwar min hadidi wa ala kulli wahid minhum. Alif. Alf wa alf. Musra. Alf, alf. Musra. Wa fiha sab'oona alf, alf. Lugha. يتكلم كل لغة بخلف لغة صاحبها وأن أعرف جميع اللغات وما فيها وما بينها وما عليها حاجة غيري وغيري okay. حسين أخي So you know let me read إن الله إن إن لله مدينتين إحداهما بالمشرق والأخرى بالمغرب عليهما سور من حديد وكل واحد منها ألف وألف مصراع وفيها سبعون ألف وألف لغة. There is a two cities. Yeah, there is two there, there is two cities, one in the east and one in the west. Yeah. And uh, those those cities they have a, a fence or like a wall from iron, and it in in each of of those walls there's. And where are those cities? That's it. In the east and the west, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and in each wall, there is like there is one thousand, one thousand, thousand door, which means a million, you know, uh, door. And uh, and having it inside those cities, one uh, seventy thousand thousand language. Seventy thousand thousand language. That is what that is seventy million language, right? Uh, Seven hundred thousand. No, it says seven, seven, seventy. Oh yes, yeah, seven million, seven million. Uh, no, it says seventy, not seven. Oh. You see what's about seven? Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, seven. So seventy million language in it, and he said, "And wa ana arif jamii al lughat wa ma fiha wa baina." And I know all those languages and all languages, what is in it and what is between it. This is the Shia books, you know. It's it's a. Uh... It seems as if they'd make up anything to make them seem like they had miracles, but in reality, they didn't. Yeah, and obviously, like in the Shia, they start adding stories about how amazing, how powerful, how so, you know, like they are, it, uh, they are not a human like us. Uh, I mean, the guy, he speaks 70 million languages, and I feel jealous now because I speak only 69 millions. You know, I feel really, really well, behind. For you. Yeah, what I can do. Yeah, but so my friend, uh, how really I can help you? I mean, you you are laughing with me at what you see in your books. So why you don't say I am artificial now? Uh, CP, I can't say it on uh, your. Oh, you cannot say it on air. You mean? Yes. All right, you can say it to me later. No problem. <laughs> but, uh, uh, CP. Yeah. Uh, before I go, I I I do need. Uh, some help when uh, uh, debating uh, my uh, Shia friends. So if 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 you'd show me a couple more, so no, why you don't why you don't to bring them? your sheikh to talk to me instead of you debating him? You know you okay, can you can you can sheikh. do this you can do this you can call your I, sheikh okay, so you can call let let, let us make a plan. You call your sheikh and you tell him I wanna you text him I have some questions. You call him. And now he's talking to you, and then you add me in the conversation. And he said to him, you know, I have a friend here. He want to talk to you. You know, but he would like. I can't to say a friend. They would kill. They say uh, a person he like to join us. You know, a he, person he, online. Yeah, he, you know, and, he like to uh, join us. He is. Uh, he have some questions. I hope you can ask him and answer him, and they will join the conversation. And then you just go and you know, like, uh, just watch what will happen. What do you think? Don't tell him Christian Prince never mentioned the word Christian. If you mention Christian Prince, he will, you know, he will flee. <laughs> the moment they hear anybody that uh, that knows something, they run. Yeah, well, you know, just uh, don't uh, don't mention me, and uh, we can go from there. But anyway, about uh, you need more stuff. Just watch my videos, my friend. There is tons, everything in the Quran. Okay, let me ask. Yes, you, just just to uh, make it simple, let me make it simple. What do you think the most convincing thing in Islam? Give me the most convincing. I will destroy it for you, and that's it. Give me a second. Yeah, CP. Okay. Oh uh, yes, yes. I have. Uh, I have it. 
Okay, what is it? Uh, you know uh, the thing the Muslims they say about uh, the wrong name of Pharaoh and uh, Amman. Yeah. Well, this is the easiest yes, one. This is not the strongest. This is this is a very stupid one. Well, the, the, all the other things, you know, they uh, turned out not to be true. So. Yeah. Well, this one is not true too, because you speak Arabic. You know that the word Al is a word used before an individual name, not a title. So in chapter two, verse number forty-nine, it says, "إذ أنجينا نجيناكم من آل فرعون آل فرعون." If you go down, the you will see. The family of Pharaoh. Yeah, the family of, the, of Pharaoh. And but you will find that in the Quran it confirm that the al is used only in a front of individual name, not a title. So you will not say it says in a front al al malik. You will not see al uh, uh, al wazir. It says al pharaoh, al Ibrahim, al Lut. Like as an example, if, chapter four. If it four. was a title, it would have. Uh, El Faran, Ali exactly. Al this is why there's no L before the name. It's a C name. Could you show me this in Tafsir also? You know, I mean, this is obvious. You know, the Tafsir don't show really why it says Al. It doesn't tell you that. But it Al, talk about yeah, this. but Al uh, is a word you add before an individual, individual singular name, not a title. Because if it's a title, it's going to have A L before the the, the word, right? And uh, you mentioned it, so. Al Malik is uh, Malik is the word the Al Malik because he's a specific person. So Ali Ibrahim, chapter four, verse number fifty-four, it is the family of Ibrahim. So the word Al come before a name of a person. So when the Muslim they say that the Pharaoh, uh, how Muhammad he knew about the Pharaoh, you know, well Muhammad he think that this is his name. Pharaoh, yes, this why he, this why he used the word Malik in different place, and he used the word Oh Aziz Masr. Uh, yeah, so he used different because Pharaoh is a name of a person. That's what you think, and not only that, uh, Muhammad he claimed that Allah he is going to marry him to marry the mother of Jesus. And I did see that. That is uh, horrible. Yeah, but this is not the important now. Uh, Muhammad he claimed, as long as they are talking about Muhammad knowledge, Muhammad he claimed, and the Muslims agree that the, the king in the time of uh, uh, Moses was uh, Ramses the second, right? All their videos they agree this is Ramses the uh, second. Uh, but Muhammad he gave more details about this guy. His name is Pharaoh. He named for us the name of his wife. What Asya. is Asya? Asya, what? Bin to Muzahim. Right? How did she become an Arab? You don't yeah. know. So now, Muhammad, <laughs> he is giving us a false information that she is About an Arab. The Pharaoh. And her, uh, and her father, his name is Muzahim, which is a very Bedouin name. You know, this is not yes. even a name they use in cities. Uh, let us see. I'm trying to find the hadith. Give me a second. Um, all right, here we go. If you search right now in Google, who was the wife of Ramses II, you will find that her name is uh, Nefertari. Are you sure? Uh, he, so the Pharaoh at that time, his name was uh, Ramses. And the, Ramses. the Pharaoh Ramses the second. Yes. Yeah. So uh, his wife is Nefertari, according to Muhammad. The wife is Asiya bin to Muzahim. So now you see, if if Muhammad he think that Pharaoh is just a title, he will not say the wife is Asiya because there's many pharaohs. Which one? Correct. But he thinks there's yes. only one pharaoh. That's why he says, Imra'at Pharaoh. Which pharaoh? Which pharaoh? You see, he is he is considering pharaoh a person, and this is his name. This is not a title of a king or a job. This is the, his name. This is his name. So you will see here, 
Allah Apostle said, Mary amongst the, the uh, uh, men attain, attained perfection, but amongst uh, uh, women, none attained the perfection except Mary. Many at, uh, amongst men attained perfection, but according to him, only a few women, they are very close to perfection. Uh, Mary and the daughter of Imran, the daughter of Imran, and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. So this is a proof that this is and this is a person. He is his name is Pharaoh, because Asiya, the uh, the wife of Pharaoh. Who? Which Pharaoh? Uh, Ramses. Yeah, but this is obviously he think it is a name, and then he, he in different hadith he mentioned that. Uh, her name uh, Asiya bint Muzahim. Not only that, even the hadith here, the Quran confirmed that. Well, Muhammad... uh, CP, look, yeah. even in the translation, they don't say the wife of the Pharaoh, they say the wife of Pharaoh. They say the wife of Pharaoh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that is like if it's a problem. Yeah. And not only that, even the verse says Mary, the daughter of Amran, but Mary, she is not the daughter of Amran. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I was reading uh, uh, Al Qummi also, and I noticed it calls Mary the daughter of Amran and Moses the son of Amran. So if so, that would make Moses Jesus' uncle. Which, uh, doesn't match up. Yeah, you know he's he's, he's messed Not up. Not even like there, in there's Islam, a whole chapter. Jesus. There's a whole chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Ibn oh, Amran. Amran. And what is talking there about Moses? About correct? So. Uh, Ali Amran is all, all those names mentioned in that chapter. Those Ali Amran. That's why it's called the chapter of Ali Amran. So Muhammad, not only he uh, does not know who is Pharaoh, who is you know, he don't know everybody. I mean, this guy is messed up. He think that Maryam, because Muhammad, he get confused. Uh, Moses, he have a sister. Her name is Maryam. Her name is Maryam. You know. So the idiot Muhammad, he heard that from the Jews. He it come to his mind that Maryam is the sister. Of uh, uh, of Moses and Moses. Aaron, and now not only that. Uh, CP, uh, quick question. Yeah. So in the Old Testament, it says, Maryam, Maryam, she's different from Mary, right? She's the. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Old Testament is before Mary was exist. How, how did she work? Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, uh, when Muhammad he made such a mistake, uh, and here we go. You see, Ali Amran. You see the the chapter. We are talking yes, about the word, uh, the word Al, right? Ali Amran. Family of. Family of Amran. Amran is the guy, correct? Yes. Al is the family. So now this chapter should be talking only about the children of Amran. Correct? Yes. But if we yes. go, we will find that talking about Moses, talking about Aaron, talking about, you know, uh, uh, and actually, you know, this Quran, as usual, you know, is messed up. You know, uh, or John the Baptist. Uh, you know, uh, CP. Yeah. Uh, I've heard some people trying to uh, duct tape this and say, "Oh, it's about the tribe of Abraham." But, but, uh, but it doesn't but, okay. also make sense even, even because if we know true, Mary's Ma from a different Mary, tribe. She is right? not from She's, that tribe of Abraham. This is. She's even. a descendant of David. No, but, right? but they cannot say they cannot say. Uh, this is the tribe of Amran because in the Quran, in chapter three, verse number thirty-five, it says. When Amran he said to his wife, how they can say this trouble Amran? This is be stupid even more. The Quran in chapter three verse thirty-five said, and when the wife of Amran said, "Oh my Lord, I have bought to you uh, what a, a, a child when my womb will be dictated to your service." Who is the one who is saying that? The wife uh, of wife. Amran. All right. Now, what she gave birth to? Who? To a to a, a female. Her name is Maria. Yes. So this is not the trouble. Also, by the way, CP, uh, other, okay, if they say, okay, this is not true, which would screw them over, but um, isn't it also, if they say, oh, Mary's from the tribe of Amran, we know Mary's a descendant of uh, King David. It's different. Right? It's a different tribe. This, yeah, different tribe. Levi is not the same as uh, the tribe. But, but, but for us, if you try to show them from the Bible, they will say we don't believe it anyway, right? But we have Quran now. The Quran says that Imran is the father of Mary. And Imran, even in their books, is the father of Moses. So how it happened that Muhammad, he says, sister of Aaron. Why? Because simply he thought she is his sister. When the Jew guy, 
uh, Kabul Akbar, he came to Aisha and he told her, this is wrong. You know, there's a huge uh, difference. She said, you're a liar. Yeah, Aisha, she said to him, you are a liar. You know, and the prophet, he told the truth. So even Aisha, she believed the prophet, he meant that. that I am. But now, Muhammad is too late. He made a verse. That's it. He said, sister of Aaron. So now we have to fix it. So he starts saying, oh, they used to call them by their ancestor. But this is not from their ancestor. Secondly, uh, if she is, you should call her the daughter of Moses, the same as you call her the daughter of, uh, you know, uh, Ibrahim or the uh, daughter of Adam, correct? Yeah. Because, because, that. because you know, a, a sister, the sister of, uh, if, the, if, if me and you, we are from the same generation, then I can call you in such a thing, right? Because we are talking about descendant, not just a, 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 in religion. I can be called as a brother to someone who exists thousand years before me, no problem. But when I say sister of Aaron, because they are coming from the seed of that person, that is wrong because you cannot call her sister. This is the grand grandfather, supposedly, how he can be, a, how she can be a sister. So, whatever they yeah. try to go and take it. It doesn't work. It it always uh, falls back on that. Yeah. As no, you see, uh, what you gave me now is you said this is the strongest, but this is the most funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, I asked you about uh, Amun. About what? Amun. In the Quran, it says. Uh, hold on. Let me see. let me show you. Uh, I I have to find uh, the verse, but I think it's a verse that says Amun of Aaron. Uh, you mean uh, Amun ibn uh, 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 Haman? You mean Haman? Yes, Haman. Haman. Ah, okay, Haman. Yeah. Well, Haman is other stupid thing because Haman was a person exist in different time, have nothing to do with the Pharaoh. Was not exist in the time of the Pharaoh. What time did he exist? I'm not really sure in history. You can search that to give you exact years. You know, I don't like to give. Oh, uh, it says uh, he's in the book of Esther. Yeah, but I, I'm saying about the years exactly. You will find a huge difference between this person and the pharaoh. How the, and how, the pharaoh. how this person? He is from different country. This is number one. Uh, he is not exist in the time of the pharaoh, and he is not. Muhammad is confused about the one who built the tower of the Babylon. Yes, he said the tower of Babylon. Yeah. Well, he calls it so, the tower of Babylon. Yeah. So now but then he says the pharaoh. The Babylon. pharaoh exactly. The pharaoh he ordered uh, a Haman to build. Uh, a tower and then uh, the Pharaoh he want to see if uh, uh, if Moses can go up to uh, this tower and speak to his God you know which is very funny you know so uh, this is a wrong history and the Muslims they have to duct tape again as usual all the histories are in in the Quran is absolutely false as an example a Samiri the Samaritan they were exist yes. in the time of Moses according to Muhammad, but this is not true. They were not exist. So, so uh, Adullah was Samuri according to Muhammad. Moses he went away for some time, uh, and he came back and he found them worshiping a cow. Why? Uh, the golden calf. Yeah, because uh, a Samaritan person. The angel of the dust. He the dust of an angel. He you know he did uh, mislead them. But those people are not exist at that time. So what do you mean? How that happened? You know, the Quran is just a you know just a silly book all over. It doesn't matter where you go. Actually, this guy he have nothing to do with with this religion. He lived between the Jews. He learned stories from the Jews, and he start you know making it Quran. But obviously, he's messed up. You know, and when the Jews they discover that his guy is copying them. Muhammad, he act in a very weird way, which is exposing his stupidity. He did the opposite. Of he do the opposite. Like, you know, as an example, once uh, he was praying in a funeral. You know, he ordered a Muslim actually to, to, to this, uh, to do act differently in everything the Jews they do, because the people noticed he is copying the Jews. So here it says, and this is Sahih Hadith, that the Messenger of Allah used to stand up for the funeral entered the crops where it was placed in the grave. A learned Jew once passed by him, and he said, this is how we do it. That's all. 
the prophet he said sit down sit down act differently from them so so he used to copy them for example no, no but like, uh, uh, hold on if i am a messenger of god and i'm praying am i praying yeah. as allah taught me or i'm making up a prayer what do you think uh you're praying as your god Exa you. exactly so why i want to change it just because i've a jew he said this is how we pray what the, what the problem well then you tell him my god also says this yeah he can say yeah actually this is kind of support the muslims saying you know what yeah we have the same god with the jews so we pray the same way what the problem actually uh, because he feel guilty because he feel he knew that he is a thief and he's trying to copy the jews and by doing that, by saying act differently, it shows us that Muhammad, he can change his religion in the speed of light. How was he praying all the time in such a way? A Jewish walk by and say, this is how we do it. What, what is the response? Sit down, sit down, act differently. Did Muhammad receive Quran? No. No. He He's just the guy, he walked by, said this. So what if Muhammad was pissing, holding his private part standing? The Jew walk by says, "This is how we do it." You will start. You start. You, I said, "Down, sit down, act differently." <laughs> what if it, uh, what if Muhammad is eating, uh, using his mouth, and the Jew he said to Muhammad, "This is how we do it." Shall Muhammad stop doing that? So, obviously, what the story here, proving to us that Muhammad he make up prayer. He create his own prayer now because he don't want to be accused to be copying the Jews otherwise and if he was doing the prayer not as Allah told him so he decided to fix it that is even better more horrible news for Muhammad because now he is uh, making things up CP hmm. uh, you know I once was in Medina you know Medina yeah yeah uh, and uh, I was uh, taken uh, by my parents to uh, Masjid al mm -hmm. and they say the Prophet was praying and he suddenly changed direction in yeah. the middle of prayer. Yeah. A and uh, the old Qabla was at a uh, uh, city of Jews. I think uh, Petra or uh, Jew you know, I'm not the most they claim it is Jerusalem, but uh, I, I don't think it's uh, Jerusalem. Yeah, but there's no proof that because it was Jerusalem because CB, uh, Masjid al uh, they call it Masjid al-Aqsa. Al it was built by uh, Abd al-Malik. Abd al-Malik uh, uh, ibn Marwan, yeah. Yeah, so how could it be mentioned in the Quran before 150 years? Yeah, it's not exist yet, exactly. But not only that, the Quran never said anything that this... Uh, about Jerusalem. Yeah, about Jerusalem. It says uh, uh, Aqsa, which means... Masjid al-Aqsa. The farther, you know, the farther. The furthest. Yeah, the farthest. So, but but uh, Jerusalem is not far, really, from 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 Mecca or Jeddah, you know. Like, if if the Aqsa is exist in Australia, I would say, okay, you have a point, you know. But this is a this is a very short trip. But uh, according uh, to uh, them, it wouldn't even be a masjid; it would be a Jewish uh, synagogue. Actually, even Muhammad he agree that the one who built uh, the temple. It was uh, 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 Suleiman and uh, his father David, you know. Uh, yeah, which is weird. Is uh, this the shait the shaitans and the jinns were the ones yeah, building we were, it? That's what we were reading, you know, today about Suleiman, etc. So, uh, and this is the, all the influence of the the city you went to is the city of Medina called Medina today. Uh, that means you did Hajj, right? No, uh, Medina is. Uh, you know, I did. You Mecca's go to Mecca? Oh, I never went there. Uh, but your parents went there? Uh, I think my mother, uh, she did uh, Amra. Oh, okay. Yeah, you miss it because you did not uh, get the chance to kiss the holy stone, man. <laughs> black stone. Yeah, the black stone, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole you religion. You know, they built the uh, shaitan uh, new apartment. Yeah, they built a new apartment, exactly. Apartment complex, three floors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, you know, you're supposed to. Maybe people do not they buy know him new what you're talking about. So you can throw at him. Uh, let us see. <laughs> Just to try to help people to understand. Uh, so how, CP? Yeah. 
how is the shaitan he's supposed to piss in your mouth and he's living in Mecca he's <laughs> unbelievable he sleeps in your nose but he's in Mecca at the same time yeah uh, uh, I'm trying That's to find I'm trying to find old pictures uh, of uh, the house of shaitan uh, the old apartment of shaitan you know what oh, I, uh, you know uh, Hajj is actually at a certain point it was called the uh, Sibaha because uh, it used to flood exactly yeah we have pictures of it actually multiple yeah. which is uh, then they had to uh, bring the kafar engineers yeah uh, okay uh, I, I will show guys he was saying he, when he said that they build a new apartment for shaitan he meant about this so this is the old apartment of shaitan <laughs> Shaitan, he lived there, <laughs> and the Muslim they throw rocks and look at look at the rocks. Look how they are piling up, and then they have to move those crowd. Everybody is coming to throw rocks at the apartment of Shaitan. Shaitan is inside. On the screen, so they can see. Yeah, I have it on the screen, and look how much rocks. And then the the government they have to come and then they have to clean all those rocks out. You know, inside the circle, and many people get injured. But then when the number of uh, of the Muslims getting bigger and bigger, uh, coming to visit uh, the Kaaba, uh, doing Hajj, the apartment of Shaitan became very moderate. Look at the apartment of Shaitan. <laughs> Shaitan Look what happened. Is by Saudi Arabia. <laughs> so now they have many floors, you know, and the Muslim, they throw rocks and then there's trucks underneath to take the rocks. <laughs> so now they have the, okay, by the way, hey Muslims, when you build the house, the new house of Shaitan, did you evict the Shaitan from his apartment? Where he go? Where he took? He took vacation. I mean, what the heck is that? So how, Shaitan, he gets a raise. Yeah, like by Saudi Arabia, Sh Shaitan, and now they are paying. No, what they did, I think, they gave a, they bought a ticket to Shaitan to go to Honolulu. The guy he came back, he don't know what's happening. They told him there's nice girls there, bikini, go there. He went there. He come back home. He found his old house is gone. And they built a nice villa, many floors, elevator, air conditioning. And look at the Muslims are lined up. You know, what if somebody pushed somebody and threw him here? <laughs> <laughs> What happened? This is the house of Shaitan, and not only that, they have many now. They don't even have one. Look at this picture. I don't know what. It is. What is this? They have more than one. One. What is uh, this? You know. Uh, you no, know. No, no. Do, do, do you is, see the picture uh, with me? This is this is something yeah, so, I did not see before. They are. CP. They built the three of them. Not only one now. There's three. Yes, Shaitan. He gets an upgrade. What? What the heck is that? And look, yes, at uh, anyways, look at this one. Anyways, this one. Look at this one. What the heck is this? You know? uh, <laughs> they built a and look at this Abdul. He wanna throw the rock. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Death to you, Shaitan. Man, look at this guy. How much he's excited. He hates Shaitan. He wanna throw rocks at the Shaitan. My, my friend, I have to hang up on you because when I have to go, but you can call me anytime. All right. Uh, CP, before we go. Yeah. Uh, when I was in Medina, they told me, uh, in the, by the grave of the Prophet, that is the grave of Abraham. Yeah. What bring Abraham to the to the middle of the desert? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me. Enough is enough. <laughs> well, Listen. Uh, yeah. Before you, uh, so I can call if I have any questions uh, about uh, anything. I can call you. Right. Sure. Sure. You are welcome. Thank, Thank you for calling. Yeah, I and uh, and be happy actually if you help me to get some Shia sheikhs, you know, or Muslim Sunni. Uh, Christian first, I will bring you the one with the biggest imam. That would be the best, you know. I will give you. I will, I will give you a reward. I will give you a free trip to throw rocks <laughs> with seven rocks to throw them on Shaitan. I will. I will pay for the rocks. <laughs> Shaitan Tower. All right. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Well, I find it funny. He don't want to say he is out of Islam, but obviously you are out of Islam. It's all right. But look at this guy, how he's excited. He want to throw rocks at the shaitan, and the shaitan is waiting for them in his house. And it's very funny that the shaitan and their God live in the same location. Neighbors. God and shaitan. The house of Allah is here. 
the house shaitan is next door neighbors and now this poor man maybe from Pakistan he spent a lot of money maybe his lifetime saving to travel all the way to Saudi Arabia so he can go around the stone kiss a black stone his sin is erased and now he have to throw rocks at the enemy of Allah so he go there and mostly he will get injured by somebody hitting him and instead because do you see how many how much crowd you know when somebody he is at the end he throw a rock how he can reach how a woman she can reach the rock will fail in somebody in front of you and will open a hole in his head you know that's why now they are like forcing people not to use certain like there is certain size of rocks you can use before they used to use big rocks and many people get killed but look how uh, how the shaitan house has been abrogated from this little tiny just a hundred years ago hole with a column in it to many floors look at this this is was the old house of shaitan Hmm. I wish I can take you all a trip vacation to visit the house of Satan like say hello Satan live there why we don't get Satan arrested and that's it the whole world is you know having fun everything is good and really what a stupid pagan religion crazy this woman look look this woman, she wanna throw rocks. This woman, she wanna throw rocks, brother. The army, they are carrying her. She wanna do his her apologation. Her hajj will not be complete if she don't throw rocks. She hardly can, she can't walk, she is in a, in a wheelchair. And now they are raising her up so she can't throw the rocks, brother. Man. Look at this guy. Look like this guy is coming from Indonesia. And by the way, there is other question about why they dress like this, like Hindus. Simply because there's a lot of origin coming from the Hindu belief. You will notice that they close themselves the same as a Hindu priest. The same as Buddhist. They are naked, wearing a sheet, showing one shoulder, covering the other shoulder. Do you see it? There's tons of proofs that this is coming from the Hindus belief. You rub yourself with a sheet. You show one shoulder. There are certain kind of shoes you have to wear. And actually those are, they are, they are not shaving their head. You have to shave your head. If you look at this guy, don't, aren't you going to think you are looking at somebody as a Hindu? Look, this guy, how much he is excited. Man, this guy is flying to throw the rock. Like those you see in the Olympic, he want to jump over the wall with a stick. He is so excited, brother. Man, oh man. This religion must be true. Oh, mommy. Oh, this guy is taking a selfie. He is throwing rocks at the shaitan. Hey brother, when, can you show us the selfie? Like, did you find Shaitan in the image? Like, when you look at the picture, did you see the shadow of Shaitan taking selfie? I mean, it is time for selfie. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you have a good time, and it's time for us to go. We are here for how many hours? You see, we keep our promise to come, to come over in the time of your people in Europe. They are here. But I hope you will invite more people when we go live on air. We have 1,019 19, uh, uh, people. I hope more they will be here when we come in European time. I will try to come live on air tomorrow, if I could. If not, the day after. And to that, I say to you, may the Lord bless you all. And I uh, really appreciate all the smart answers or comments people they will say in the comment section it's not nice that you come here you are so good in the chat but when we finish our stream 
you go dead. Your comment can help the videos to be spread. Share the link. Give a like if you care. If you like it, we are not asking you to give it a like if you don't like it. We do everything we can so we can teach you and it's for free. Can't you just make a comment, give a like, share the video with your friends? Is it hard? Is it a mission impossible? The Lord, he said that from their fruits, you shall know them. So even if something is so cheap, you are not willing to do what you are willing to do. We are victorious, not because we are rich and not because we are strong, not because we are carrying swords, but because the Lord is with us. And we have the truth in our side. And if the truth is with me, which is the Lord, who could be against me? The Messiah, he said, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the resurrection. I am the life. I am he. We have and we follow and we believe in the living Messiah. They have nobody. Their prophet is dead. Their God does not exist. And they are black stone kissers. The Messiah will come back and you will be questions for kissing stones, for praying and bowing down in front of his stones, for believing in false prophet. You will be questioned. And even Muslims are waiting for the Messiah to come back. So the living Messiah, my friend, is the living God. And he have a duty to do. He will be the judge over all mankind. Get ready to be judged by the only judge. And if you are a Muslim, what you will say to that judge? I was following a person who have interest in children to sleep with. A criminal, a thief, he taught me how to lie. He taught me you can lie to three, your wife. The wife lied to her husband. The husband lied to his wife, to your friend, to your enemy. Who's left? Are you going to explain to Jesus why you are allowed to lie and practice taqiyya? Isn't it Jesus says, say yay, yay, or nay, nay, anything else is from the devil? Are you going to tell Jesus that I was believing in Muhammad because he promised me a lot of women for sex? You made God pimp? Since when God is pimp? He's busy right now making versions for us. How you claim that God is holy, but his promise is dirty? If the house of God is so dirty, is a sex house, what about the God you worship? How clean he is. Our God is holy, his name is holy, his act is holy, and he is the living, holy God. We worship Him, we follow Him, we believe in Him, and we are in your book called The People of the Book. But in your book, nowhere it's called you The People of the Book, because you never have one, you never have God. So even your Satan, Aka Allah, he confirmed that we are the people of the book. So when a Muslim, he says that our book is corrupt, that is additional stupidity, from you because if our book is corrupt how you call us people of the book have you ever heard somebody calling somebody is bold the guy with the hair only ones they do that is idiots he's bold so when the quran keep calling us people of the book and you say that we don't have a book that mean you are an idiot and you are going against your own God words, if he is God. Thank you all. See you soon again. And this is your brother Christian Prince, who was serving you humbly for today. God bless.